Welcome. In this video, we will see how we can extend the limit in the PTO calendar in the PTO manager template. So the PTO manager template is used to track and calculate and manage the PTO balances of employees in a small business. And so there is a limit by default for how many employees will be shown in the calendar view. And in this video, we will see how we can extend that limit very, very easily. So now let's get started. This is our Excel template and I have entered some sample data, very limited sample data so that I can illustrate the specific use case. And so in the home um, sheet, I've entered the one holiday and then in the employee sheet, I've actually entered uh, 80 employees. And so you can see here, I've entered up to employee number 80. So now we will see the calendar sheet is representing a monthly view of all the employees and their PTOs and weekends and holidays. And this information is limited to 40 employees by default. So you can see that it stops at 40. It just makes it easy to print in one page and it's limited. And in some cases, um, your company may have more than 40 employees and in such scenarios, it'll be beneficial to be able to see more than 40 employees at a time. So the first, uh, we're gonna talk about two options. The first option is simpler, where you're, you're okay in looking at 40 employees at a time, but you would want to see you know, 40 to 80, the employees who are in 41 to 80 also in this calendar. That's a very simple um, change. So you go to the cell A7 where it says one and you just click there and then type 41. So now the formulas will get updated automatically and then it now you can see that you have employee 41 all the way through employee 80. So nothing has changed except you control which group of employees you want to show on the calendar. Once again, if you have 60 employees, you could just type in 21 here to see 21 to 60. Okay, so that's the first option. Very simple. No need to make any major changes. Just type the number. Okay, so the second scenario is where you would want to see more than 40 employees in the calendar view at the same time. And this requires a little bit more work. So let's go through the step by step on how we can enable that. The first thing we're going to do first step is to go to the review ribbon, unprotect the sheet because we're going to make some formula changes or add formulas. And so in this case, we have to unprotect the sheet. The password is in Zara. So now the sheet is unprotected, which means that we can make some any changes as we want. And so the first thing we're going to do um, is go to the row number 45, which is the the one row before the 40th employee. So I'm going to click on that, then right click. I'm going to copy. Then I'm going to select rows 46 to 86. Okay, so now I've selected 46 to 86, and I'm going to right click, insert copied cells. And now you will see that now we have 39, 40, all the way until 80, and then we have one more row. Okay, so this is what we want. Now, the next step is to right click 87, row 87, because we don't need that anymore. So we're gonna do clear contents. Make sure that you do this, clear contents. So these steps specifically will allow you to do uh, get the formatting and everything the way we want with minimal steps. And that's kind of why we are doing these in this specific way. So after you cleared the contents, the last row now becomes pretty much blank and you will still have 80 employees. So from here, so you can see that from row number seven, all the way to row number 86, we have 80 employees listed. And so now that we have done that, now the next thing we need to do is to, I mean, if you're if you're not gonna be doing printing, um, then this should be fine. You can see all the employees at the same, in the same screen. 
that works great. Now, sometimes you may want to print them. And when you're trying to print, um, let's go to print preview. So now you see this list of employees. And then when you hit the next page, you will see the employees. But one thing that is missing here is you don't know what these columns represent, which day of the month, uh, what's the date. Uh, so that piece is missing. So for printing purposes, you will want to have the information at the top. So that's what we're going to do now. Go to page layout, print titles. Uh, what we're going to do is to select certain rows to print at the top for every page. So I'm going to select rows one, two, six. I'm going to click OK. Now let's go to file print. Now you'll see everything there. And now when we go to the second page, you will still see the top section visible. This makes it easy to read it even in the second page. The same thing with the third page where you have the summary of the vacation and sick and work days. And now when I go to the fourth page for employee 40, we have 42 to 80. Let's go back and check. Okay. So in the second page, we have 42 to 80. And then the first page, we have 1 to 41. And if you want to modify any of these, like the specific place where your uh, page breaks happen, you could go to view, page break view, and you can see that um, the page break is happening around here. So if you want to change this, this is where you can control and maybe move this up here. Now you can go back to file print and now you'll see one to 40 employees here. Next page 41 to 80. So this is just to make sure that it fits uh, within the pages in the way you want for printing purposes. The last step is make sure that you protect the sheet again because now the sheet is unprotected if you unintentionally edit the formula within this, then the accuracy may be impacted. So make sure that you always protect this sheet. So go back, protect your sheet and put in the password in Zara and then put it again and hit OK. And now it's protected. So if anybody tries to edit the formula, now it'll get you will get the message and you cannot edit the formula. And uh, so if you do want, you can come back and unprotect and edit them again. Okay, so that's how we can, in just a couple of minutes, we extended our calendar to show 80 employees. And 80 was chosen just as an example. If you have, uh, depending on how many employees you have, you can customize this uh, method to show how many of our employees you would like to see in the calendar. If you have any questions about what we discussed in this tutorial, please provide them in the comment section. Uh, your feedback is very valuable. If you like such videos and Excel templates, please like the video and also share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified of future videos. And I will put the link to the PTO Manager Excel template in the video description. Thank you very much for watching this video.